Hello and welcome back to Gnome Regards Journey. We are going to uh, do the achievement today, uh, Storming Kesora and Kerns. This is the uh, final quest we need for the uh, uh, Hero's Journey progression section. Uh, this one, for some reason, hasn't updated since I haven't relogged <laughs> since I did that episode. Uh, but uh, we need to kill, do four more quests. Uh, one's from Talandor, two from Trakanon, and one from Faradar. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here with a Talandor. Hello! I wonder what brings such as you to a place like this. Surely you were not asked here by the Ring of Scale. This is a battle that we must undertake ourselves. You may, I suppose, be an agent of the Ixar, though that seems unlikely. I am here to battle for you. War would be more appropriate. Typical of its type, I suppose, incident leads to re reciprocation, leading to escalation and eventually spreading out of control. We won't be done with this until the Ixar have been taught a severe lesson. It is unwise to challenge the ring, challenge the ring of scale. We are the mightiest creatures in the land, and none can withstand our might. Numbers and, well, reusability are the only things that has kept these creatures in the fight this long. Wow, what kind of severe lesson? I doubt that anything near, less than near destruction will end their aggression and foolish dreams of empire. So we shall deliver that destruction. For now, there is a lull, but soon enough our wrath shall bring down their wall and meager mortal empire. Reusability. They recover the multitudes of their corpses after the battles and drag them away. Their necromancers animate the bones and return to them to the field. I find it amusing that they seem to fight better once they are dead they are than when they are alive. Jeez, this guy is not an Ixar fan. Uh, unlikely, you say. Like, likely or not, perhaps you can do something for me. If you fail, or you, if you are indeed a servant of the Ixar, no matter. But perhaps you will actually succeed. I have mind, in mind a bit of sabotage. Nothing violent, though unless you are an enemy agent, you will likely have to kill a few Ixar to accomplish a task. You see, the Ixar keep their eggs in the hatchery. The hatchery serves all Ixar of any importance, royalty, favored merchants, war heroes, and even the favored servants. They seem to think that the faithful, that a faithful and function servant will breed those qualities true. All the eggs need to carefully tending and carefully bookkeeping to ensure that the royal eggs remain a royal egg, and that a servant is not given the care of a royal a young roll after hatching this has given me mind to introduce some havoc into their careful organization havoc you say it is simple enough plan shuffle their papers swap their eggs even if the, the actual changes are small the confusion and panic over the possible repercussions will certainly vex and disrupt all sibilis this is the goal worth achieving and has an added amusement of value attached to it. Will you do this? I will do this. Perhaps we shall meet again. Um, I already have that one. Remove. And we'll click that again. And there we go. So this is a timed quest. It's very tedious. <laughs> very tedious indeed. Uh, let's see. Fardar is over here. Let's grab her quest. I assume it's girl. I don't know. I do not have time to indulge idle chat, small one. My father and I must find a way to crush these Ixar. We gr all grow weary of such a prolonged battle. Are you weary? It is slow going, destroying such a large number of foes. We gnaw on the tail, but the body and head remain inside the walls. I would prefer a quick, decisive final battle. I would prefer to end this foolishness now, but the Ring of Scale is nothing if not wise. 
And uh, so we fight this war as we must. Only Talonor appears to be enjoying the delay, I suspect. He appreciates the anticipation of victory nearly as much as the victory itself. Though the appearance of Sokar, Sokolar, <laughs> is giving me pause for concern. Who is this? Some form of twisted mating of a dragon ken and a frog lock. What the hell? A frog lock and a dragon? Walk into a bar. As unnatural and disgusting as the thought. It's very interesting. The beasts themselves are impressive. And by all rights, they are our kin, so I would have them on our side of this. Would that we could capture some and learn their nature, but they are fierce and will not surrender. Perhaps the young would be more pliable. What young? All right. Okay, uh, this one goes right there. Yes, I know what you shall do. You shall go into their hatchery and bring back one of the young so that I may learn more. All right, jeez. I did this quest on my monk and I did. I had no no idea what was actually going on. All right, Trachanon. He's like down here, I think, somewhere. He's way over here. He's like ready to eat some Ixar. All right, hail Trachanon, be gone. Go talk to a tree if you have need to hear your own voice. I have Ixar to deal with them and that coward Kern. Ixar, you say? If you must know, they call themselves green tails and they made themselves into my personal headache. I don't suppose you're interested in getting some blood on your hands. Well, I am quite interested in getting some blood on my hands. So be it. These pests have been trying to kill my servants. Go deal with them. What about this Kern guy? The mighty Kern hides away inside his tower. He fears us as he should. There appears to be no way to pry him from his hiding place. He makes this battle into a siege. Perhaps it is time I did the same. You might prove useful to me after all. I have half a company's worth of underlings and you might be able to give me give me assistance with much larger task useful you say what kind of is I see go to the into the tower and destroy the coward supplies that might bring him out into the open what kind of assistance assistance I guess that was the same one all right so we got four quests four more for this achievement uh, we need to go get some stuff in the uh, hatchery we need to go capture a small uh, Soko car and uh, deliver some snacks. Those drop from the mobs in the hatchery. Uh, we need to kill 10 green tail and uh, go to destroy some crates in uh, Kerns. So step one, let's go to Kerns, get that knocked out. Alrighty, we're in Kerns. So what we need to do uh, is go pretty deep into this place. I think there's a third level uh, up here to uh, find the green tails. It's pretty much the same thing as the other zone we were just in. Uh, mobs are not terribly difficult at 120, but uh, if you're coming here at in the in the lower 80s, you might have some some issues. So here's a green tail. We need to kill uh, how many of these? Ten, and they just spawn randomly. So we got one. Go ahead and pull him. And uh, if you're coming here lower level you might want to bring some kind of snare and cc uh to kind of make this a little bit friendlier <laughs> to your uh to your grouping uh it might be difficult to solo for some uh classes we need drake head i think we need four of those For, for the most part, you can just run around and uh, just pull everything. Nothing too uh, fantastical in here. I'm trying to remember where the supplies spawn. <laughs> uh, they're like uh, they're boxes that look a little bit different. Here's one right here. 
have to melee them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There's another one right here. Got another head. We need four of these heads, I believe. There we go. Everybody should should be dead. <laughs> Just lots of lots of mobs. And here's another one over here. Go ahead and knock it out. Let's see if we can get our remote spear up. Looks like we did. And each of these mobs drop, you know, about 20 platinum. So they're, you know, it's these are decent farms, right? I mean, uh, I'll probably make a video on uh, using this as a farm at level, like a level 90 or so. I just need to get one of my uh, characters level 90, see how well it works for them. All right, so if you look at the map, um, height filter, right? You can see the supplies are marked on the free wall maps. So you just need to kind of like look around in those spots and they respawn every five, 10 minutes or so. So it, it, realistically, right? If you're like in level, uh, it, it's going to take you more than instantaneous to kill some of this stuff. Uh, so you'll have, uh, you'll have time, right? Like I cleared the whole floor, right? In a few seconds. So let's go over here. And there's usually one in this general area, but I don't see it right now. And they're kind of random. They're not 100%, so. Let's so what I'm going to do, i got to wait for respawn, right? So I'm just going to wait for respawn, run around here until we get the rest of these uh, supply crates done. And then uh, we just need a few more, six more green tails. They spawn here, and we need one more head. So we'll do that after we get respawn. So actually, I went up the next floor, and it uh, looks like there are green tails up here. And I just get a supply, and there's another supply over here. So that might be uh, something I didn't know about earlier. So that's kind of nice. I don't think I went anywhere else, because I think uh, Twitch chat had told me uh, that uh, they only spawned on the third floor or so. That's kind of where I stopped going. It was all, it was pretty hard actually. It wasn't like I was just plowing through it like this with uh, this character. There's some more over there. No more green tails though. So the green tails might be only down there. All right, let's get the supply. Kind of knock all this out. There we go. Get a. Uh, let's get our aura going. This is the greatest spell that a necromancer gets. Just makes clearing old trash trivial. All right, let's go up the stairs a little bit more. There's another green tail. So there are green tails on the uh, fourth and fifth floor. We were on the third floor, so definitely nice. I'm looking for supplies. They kind of stick out a little bit. I haven't seen any named yet though, so that's... Come on. Guardian Tower, some more green tails back here. I don't see any supplies though. Let's do that. I should wipe all those out. Let's look around here. A Rancor head. Interesting. I don't think I've seen the Rancor heads yet. All right, let's go up another tier. We just need to destroy supplies now, so that's not too bad another tier up. What about in here? Nothing. So, you know, 
it's not actually, you know, like, it's not bad, really, going through here. Uh, the hatchery, on the other hand, that is, uh, that's a rather unpleasant experience. That guy looks pretty big. Is he named? Is there any names that spawn here? There we go. Just get all these burned down. Just need two more supplies. We might have to go back down for those ones. Green tails spawn all the way up here. Nice. Obviously a lot of mobs, so this would this would be actually pretty probably hard uh, for a solo player, I would say. Just because there's so many mobs, right? Like, I can't even cast... Uh, I can't get my aura off. There's so many mobs on me. <laughs> we just got some achievement. What was that? Mostly Kunzar. Kill it. Okay, <laughs> sorry, jeez. Alright, so we got... Uh, we, we have Bane Strike against... Uh, these guys now. So it looks like that is how far it goes up. I figured there'd be like a boss fight or something up here. I guess there is a raid, I think, for this zone. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's just drop down here. And go down one more floor. I think... I think the supply crates should start respawning by now. There's a green tail. Alright, let's take a look around. There's one supply crate. And... Am I truly not going to find one? Let's check in here. So, I mean, if you're uh, high level, you're going to be running around looking for stuff quite a bit. Uh, but on my monk, I didn't have to do this as much. There we go. Because <laughs> pretty much done with that. All right, that one's done. That one's done. Let's go to the hatchery. So I'm going to run off to the hatchery. It's right next to the library. So we'll get there real quick. All right, we are in the hatchery. The hatchery is a rather small zone, but it's a very tight zone so you kind of kind of have to just watch yourself as you go through and let's make sure we're the only one here okay perfect so we're gonna kill everything in the zone uh for the most part uh these rooms with the eggs are what we need for the egg swapping so we need to kill all the uh, mobs in the zone and this is the uh snacks we need so we need 10 of those so just make sure we grab those let's put it on all can destroy them later. I'll never come back to the zone when we're done. And the swapping of the eggs. So it says the moving eggs. You have to literally go over here and click on each and every egg and randomly it will do something. <laughs> there we go. Something's changed. We got one of them done. Uh, and you just have to do this over and over and over in every single one of these areas with eggs. And eventually you'll get it all done. Uh, not the broken ones though. I have never gotten anything from those. And you have to kill all the, uh... You can't do it in Viz, you can't do a feign death, you have to kill everything in the room. Otherwise it won't work. See how it's saying it's too dangerous right now. There we go. There we go, got another one. And just clicky click your way through. There we go. And then the broken ones just ignore. I've never gotten anything, so it's yeah. Your your mileage may vary, but I I, I haven't. There we go. 
we got aggro on something. And you can't you can't do it in biz, you can't do it uh I think it's kind of a uh, kind of weird. I just want you to clear everything. So this is something you're going to want to do as a group and it is a group task. So if you have like six people, you'll get it all done at once. Uh, that is not one of the ones we need. We need a baby one, a hatchling. Oh, there's one right there. So the broodling, click him with the cage. Oh, I'm like thinking this is a different game. Where'd he go? See up here, there he is. Click him with the cage. Wait, how are you supposed to do this? Why is it not clicking? Am I in combat? Is that what's causing it? Sure. Sunforged cape. I'll look at that here in a second. Alright, right here. Why is that not working? Oh, don't I have to damage this thing? This is going to be difficult. Um, G hold. Let's uh, snare him. Bring him over here. Um, kill these guys. Because I'm going to have to, like, stab him, I think. Got to get him to 45%, I think, is what it was. I didn't kill him in one hit. <laughs> Fear that uh, level 120 necromancer uh, melee. Come on. There we go, finally. <laughs> and then we get the uh, caged. Caged mob, that quest is done. Now we can finish doing the eggs here. This is another one of the big rooms with a bunch of eggs in it. And yeah, so we have to do this part here. Clicky click all the eggs. Eventually you'll get it all done. And all the uh, all the mobs gotta be dead. There we go, he's gone. One's clicking. Oh, I've never seen this guy before. Rare creature. Boom. Soul Scourge. Oh, that would have been that would have been nice to get on my monk when I was here. And then that is an I think an armor token for wrists or hands. I'm gonna leave that. I'll loot that for now. Alright, there's nothing in this room. So we got another room. These brood keepers, I believe, drop the notes we need uh, for the other part of that quest. Yeah, there's one right there. So we'll just put those on the loot. And those are great items too. Perfect. As you can see, there's lots of eggs in this room. So uh, do that. We're going to have to kill, uh, I guess, five more of those uh, lore keepers or whatever they were called they have all the notes we need. Uh, let me turn my pet off G-Hold because that's why he's not doing his work job. All 
right let's see if we can get one from this 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 took me two or three days to uh actually get them all in a single session it was pretty bad uh but it's a six hour quest so if you don't finish it you kind of have to start over which is kind of bad but uh that was with me having to kill everything as a monk without uh the same kind of level that i got going on here There we go. I looted that book because we're going to need it, I think, later. And uh, some people say first person works better. Uh, I haven't experienced that. I find it harder to play this game in first person than it is in third person. And just to double check. None of those will do anything. All right, so I'm gonna run around and uh, keep doing this until we get all the eggs, because this it's very time consuming, and uh, they I think it's like ten minutes in between, so it's just gonna be a lot of clicking over and over again. So get this uh, done, and then we'll come be right back. All right, we got the last uh, last egg, so that is done. Now uh, we need to kill the bookkeepers uh and i think i have every little literal every mob in the zone is dead at this point i think uh but we'll have to come back to like this room here to uh swap the books around there's some mobs so it's just a matter of finding more mobs to kill looks like we might have found a few so where are we at Go around this way. This is the zone in. Nothing up here. Let's go down here. There's a mob. Whole oh, room of them. There's a bookkeeper over there too. Perfect. Let's go ahead and drop that on there. And we need five more of those books. So that's gonna take a little while I think uh, my word didn't land actually let's regroup my pet because he is I don't know sometimes the pet breaks and he just stops doing anything it's kind of annoying but uh, it is what it is so we got another room full of non uh, important mobs Where are we at here? Height filter. Let's go this way. I don't think I've gone this way. Nope. Come on. And we have gone this way. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'm just going to run around, I guess, until I find all these lore keepers. It's, it, it's a small zone and uh brood keeper is the actual name uh but i'm I, i'm just killing everything as fast as i can and uh it's just gonna take a little while to get all of them. so we'll do that real quick and come back once we have all the brood keepers all right we just got our last uh brood keeper now we need to go shuffle the papers in the uh, records hall which is either down there or up here i can't remember yeah, it's down there. So let's go back down here. And I think it's this way. I think it's this one. So we need to, we did loot the book earlier, right? Legacy blog. So we need to Open this book. Take, where are they at? Take these. That looks like we ended up with seven of them. I think one of them dropped two, which is uh, kind of interesting. There we go. 
combine those together. Or whatever. <laughs> it works in mysterious ways, right? Wait. Alright. Turn that in, turn that in, turn that in, and turn that in. Perfect. Let's Levant out of here and go turn these in. Alright, we're here at Faradar. Uh, we just need to give her, I believe, the cage. This cage. And the snacks. So we'll give her that, plus the snacks. There we go. We get uh, another piece of bone and some uh, currency faction. And a howling hatchet. What is this? Alright, more... Uh, I guess we had a name on us. <laughs> what, what was his name? Uh, Nascato the the Damned. That's hilarious. All right, and now we need to go to Talandor. He's right over here. Just need to hail him. There we go. And he thanks us for our service. We get another piece of the bone. Right there. there's a bunch of bone pieces. I believe it makes a a. a a um, Ixar um, illusion, I believe is what it does. We'll eventually finish it. Uh, it's just not a part of this achievement. It's uh, one of the other ones that we haven't done yet. There's tracking on. Let's go ahead. We need to speak to him and give him these uh, dragon heads. Like so. There we go. And we get another leg bone. And uh, I was going to hail him. And we get an a arm bone and some currency. And got an AA, apparently. <laughs> and we get the Paragon Silk Robe for um, storming the uh, Kesor and Runes. 80 to 85. You can do this about 80 uh, without much issue as a monk. Uh, your mileage may vary as other classes. Uh, but as you can see, the stats are uh, phenomenal for the level range. Go ahead and uh, accept that. There we go. Another uh, achievement done. If we go here to the hero's journey, uh, I have to read log for those to show. But uh, we've completed all the progression tasks. Uh, we're almost done. <laughs> Not really, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, eventually, we'll get this... Uh, all this uh, rewards from uh, the hero's journey here. Uh, we'll get the, the hero uh, title is really what we're working towards here. Uh, later on, uh, we'll need to come back and do all of these advancement ones uh, that I never did. Uh, some of them were just out of the way. And then we have to come back and do the special ones. Uh, some of these I did, some of them I didn't do. There's just a few left to go for this. Uh, and these are all reward, really nice weapons. So if you're leveling up, I definitely recommend going this this route. And then uh, there's a bunch of other things we can do uh, in that same thing. And our goal with this character is to complete all the achievements in the game. So that is uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, we're eventually going to get them all. But uh, I don't know what the next episode's going to be. Um, I don't know if I want to do Hero's Journey still or... Uh, do some current content stuff. I haven't decided yet, but uh, we'll see where we end up. Thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.